You know, in the midst of cancel culture, maybe you're excluded from something. Maybe you were not on a list to be invited, or maybe you're not in this club or this group or this clique, hmm? or you haven't found your tribe and you feel like you're forgotten. Or maybe you have some newfound challenges or problems on this eighth day of June. And you'd be like, where did this come from? I started listing some of my challenges. Like I missed my dentist appointment from yesterday. And for this new dentist, it literally took like maybe what, two months to get an appointment. And I was like, I cannot believe I missed this. So, so I was feeling that stress like, oh, and then something else. And then, you know, take it on someone else's challenge and problem and huh and it just starts piling up and then be like where, where did this come from but the lord said no michelle i have not forgotten your name and the same for you on this very thursday night god has not forgotten you and guess what back in genesis 8 the lord did the same for noah in fact in the first verse it opens up saying <laughs> Instead of, in one version of the Bible says, God did not forget Noah, but it said, and God remembered Noah and every little living thing and all the cattle that was with him in the ark. And God made a wind to pass over the earth and the waters assuaged. Isn't that something that God can use absolutely any resource he holds the wealth of the world and the power of the world in his hands. He has everything. So he could use anything. So those challenges that you have this evening, look, he can make it so for me that an appointment can be canceled. And instead of waiting another two months, hmm, it could be two days. Or maybe that diagnosis, that, that new circumstance that you might be going through or maybe a loved one don't you know he can make that disappear that growth that that mysterious scar whatever anything any ailment hmm that situation as far as finances like oh my goodness here i have to pay double for something don't you know that he can make it so that he can even solve that issue. Yes, he can. Give it to him. Just know that God remembers his own. And especially when you have given all to him. Remember, Noah did according unto all that the Lord commanded him. Remember in Genesis 7, 5. So when you are faithful to the Lord and you follow him, and you are led by his commands, 
then he looks out for his own. And that's what happened. And it came to pass at the end of 40 days in verse six of chapter eight, that Noah opened the window of the ark, which he had made. Yep. And he sent forth the raven and he sent forth the dove. And we found out and he found out that the flood was over. So I don't know if you're in the middle of a storm or if you feel like you are drowning, but the Lord can do absolutely anything. So hold on to his unchanging hand. That's why he put that song on my heart by Israel Holton. He sang that back in, is it oh, early 2000s in South Africa? But God knows your name. He has not forgotten you. So take heart. Be encouraged. Let's see. Because of today's date, we would have gone to Psalms 8 and Psalms 38 and Psalms 68 and 98 and 128. And like I said, the, the word fills us with hope and joy. And later on in that song, again, it says that he is our light in darkness. He is our strength in weakness. He is our joy. Is that right? <laughs> our joy and sadness. He is our father when we are without a father, when we're fatherless. He is our friend when it was like, whoa, what happened to my friends? To the friendless. And he is our hope in that hopeless situation. Why? Because the Lord is commander of everything. O oh Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. Just like he used the wind to replenish the state of the world so that the flood subsided. He is commander of all the earth. He has set thy glory above the heavens. Yes. So now he has given us dominion over the works of <laughs> What is going on out here? God has put things, all things under our feet. So look, we can do great things. Yes, yes, he has given us resources and we can do all things in the name of Jesus. So we are victorious. Blessed is everyone that feareth the Lord, that walketh in his ways. For thou shalt eat the labor of thy hands. Happy shalt thou be, and it shall be well with thee. That's Psalms 128. So you might feel that sadness or like, wow, what's going on? It shall be well with thee because he holds a whole world in his hands. Father God, we thank you, Lord, that you're in control of everything, even though it seems like sometimes our life seems out of control with our situations and challenges and circumstances. But we roll back everything to you, Lord, and we will just follow your commands and do all that you have told us to do and shown us to do. So, Father, Lord, have your good pleasure in our lives and we'll continue to trust you and know that you have not forgotten us, but you remembered us. So have your way in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen.